Just let that repeat that. Just let that music there repeat. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thanks be unto God. For He is good. His mercy endureth forever. Psalms 106 1. That's how David started off. Before he concluded in verse 47, save us. O Lord our God, and gather us from among the heathens, so we might give thanks unto you and triumph in the praise of your name. So thanksgiving of mercy, for the mercy of God, in spite of our national sins, God, you've showed us mercy. Save us, O God, we turn back to you. stop doing wrong and become morally good. The hell's full of morally good people. You gotta turn to the master. Turn to his cross and his shed blood. You be born again, John 3, 3. For except a man be born again, he's not entered the kingdom of heaven. Come on, my spirit will not always plead with me Genesis 6 and 3. The Holy Ghost is dealing with your heart. You better come while you can. Behold, I stand at the door the man of you, my voice, and open the door, I'll come into him, and sup with him, and he with me. Revelation 3, 20, don't you hear his voice knocking? Remember, God don't want you bull. He don't want your church attendance without your heart, that's bull. He don't receive that sacrifice. Along with the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on your name, Psalms 116, 17. That sacrifice of thanksgiving is like Jonah in the belly of the whale, in the depths of the ocean, in rebellion. He repents of his rebellion. He's running from God. And in Jonah chapter 2, verses 9, he said, I will call upon God and offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving. That means repentance. The sacrifice of thanksgiving is a repentant heart, a broken heart. He said, oh God, I repent. And he called that place salvation, for salvation is of the Lord. And in verse 10, God spake to the fish and it vomited him out on the dry land. Oh God, when a nation cries out to you with a sacrifice of thanksgiving, which is a sound of repentance, God, we've sinned, we've, we've turned from you, and God, we're calling out to you, have mercy on us, thank you, Lord, hallelujah, save us, oh God, Lord God, you'll speak to the things that swallow us, Lord God, and it'll inject us into the wheel, in the place of God, Lord, he went to Nineveh, and Nineveh repented. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. He called his salvation experience the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Lord, what 
big fishes have you prepared for America? child of God until you got faith in Christ who hung on this cross and you turn from your sins calling out to him in repentance for forgiveness. Come on. Hey, somebody in here, you're his creation but you're not his child. It's time to take this Jesus. Because you're going to stand before God the Father in eternity one day every one of us will. And the first thing he's going to judge concerning you is what you did with his son and his shed blood on that cross. Come on. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission, Romans 9, 22. There's no forgiveness, no deliverance without the shedding of his blood. Come on, cry out to him. Come to him while you can. Don't put him on. Put him on. Come, come. Run, 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 run while you can. Come and call on him. John 6, 37, he said, I'll in no wise turn you away if you'll call on me. He won't turn you down. Won't turn him down. You'll come. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord to be saved, Romans 10 13. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord to be delivered, Joel chapter 2, verse 32. If you'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved, Romans 10 9. So come. Today is the day of salvation, 2 Corinthians 16. Wherefore, today, if you'll hear the voice of the Holy Ghost, Hebrews 3 7. Any voice and any preacher that tells you tomorrow is a lying spirit, a soothsaying spirit that soothe your soul right to hell. Hear the voice of the Holy Ghost. Now's the time. Boast not yourself in tomorrow. You do not know what a day will bring, Proverbs 27 and 1. Now or never. Now's the time. Come on, saints, pray right here. A wise man wins souls, Proverbs 11 and 30. I'll leave the 99 to go after one, and I'll leave that one turkey to go after 99. Yes, sir. I care less about what's on the table out here. I'm more concerned about what's at the altar yes, and who's at the altar. Yes, Come. Yes, this song's about to end like it's ended for the last four times. When it ends this time, I'm through. One day, like this song, your life's going to end. The Jewish measurement. Psalms 39 and 5 calls a handbreadth. It's about three inches in the space of the palm of the hand. David said, my life's like a handbreadth. Meaning my life's so short. Friend, eternity is forever. Life here is just a moment. It's just a shit. On everyone's headstone in a graveyard, You'll see a birth date, you'll see a death date, and that little three inch dash between both. That little three inch dash is your life. That's my life. Your birth date's already inscribed. You don't know when your death date is. But if Jesus tarry, it's a sure thing. Don't waste your dash. Do not waste your dash. 
Your dash could be at its end. Your death date could be inscribed hours from now, a day from now, three days from now. Better come while you can. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. Hallelujah. Jesus, thank you for your mercy. What Jehoshaphat's army saying in 2 Chronicles 20. <laughs> his mercy endures forever. I gave him thanks for his mercy that lasts forever. The enemies were slain on the battlefield. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. We don't deserve it. We give you thanks. Really, that's all we have to offer. Just thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your amazing grace. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. Yes, we do. Turn us, O oh God, and we'll be turned. Renew our days as of old. Limitation 521. Holy, holy. You are holy. You are holy. Yes, you are. Holy. Sailor, that little pause in the song is about the length of your life before God. Better not waste it. Jonah 3 1, after Jonah got spit out on that land, said the word of the Lord came to him a second time. Let that song play one more time, Brother Paul. I know I said I was going to stop it. Hallelujah. God said second chance. You know, God's not a God of third chances, fourth chances, fifth chances, and seventh. When it comes to chances, God gives two. And what I mean by that is once you get the second call, every call after that's a second chance. It's not a bunch of chances. You, you, still, you still got grace on that second chance. Don't you know hell's full of people who said, man, I look to God, I listen on that second chance. That long time, that long second call. Make sure you're safe distance off the road, nothing around you. Put that car in park, use your steering wheels and all. Cry out to God, you better never make it to your destination. You better give your life to Him now if you're watching on video. You're watching on the internet. Maybe your last chance of many second chances. Make your iPhone an order right now. Make that laptop in front of you or that TV. If you're watching this on social media through, you better make the place before it an order and call out to it. For the Lord is ready to forgive all those that have called upon Him and have mercy on them. Psalms 86, 5. Thank you, Lord. You're more ready to forgive us than we are to receive. 